I can't remember his lines either, but Jesus Christ, who's going to do it? You, Lieutenant Weinberg! <laughs> Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom, uh... hey. Yo, Dom. Wake you up. I'm, I'm up. All right, take it easy. I'm drink, guy. drinking coffee. Eight o'clock at night. I'm fired up, baby. You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready to go. This is going to be a good one. The Phillies are in the playoffs, right? I wonder what Andrew Cattell is bitching about now. <laughs> do you do you listen do you listen to sports radio even though you're in LA? Yeah, I listen to WIP. It's usually it's the day after. Oh, the, no. how do you how do you get it out west? Like the I, internet? I can't we can't talk about that or I wouldn't get it. <laughs> Why you gotta ask so many questions, man? Everyone's gotta know Dude. everyone's gotta know the answer, man. Because it... I'm I'm the co host here. I gotta I gotta dish out I got notes in front of me. Brian, you're more you're, than you're not a, you're not more... worried. I, I will say I, I I'm not a Philadelphia sports fan, but their radio is the most entertaining sports radio of, of all time. Okay. It's great. It's it's great. Oh, I I I love it. Yeah, WIP used to love listening to to those guys. But he said every one time everything was going good in Philly. He goes, I got no show. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm, ha- I'm happy. Who Angela? Yeah. How'd you, how'd you guys connect, Dom? How'd that relationship start? started doing it, and then we became friends, you know. It's a, it's a very fun thing. It's like um, he always acts like he's, he's he can't believe it, this guy. Remember the, the Phillies manager that they got fired? I, you know, I said, you're, you're, you're taking guys, the, the, mood, the food, fucking food out of their mouth, man. You know, you, <laughs> uh, you know that manager sucks. He should, be, he should be fired right now. It's like... He, Lighten up, boy! Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm wondering if there's ever been like a confrontation with with how brutal they could be. On Can you imagine that... him? Yeah. No, no, finish your thought. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just no, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you, you bring up a really good point. They, they don't hold back. That whole team, they'll, they'll tell you when, when you. That's why they're, they're, they're a radio station for the Philly people. They act like we do. Oh, yeah, what's the guy's name? An- An- Angelo, not Angelo. Um, Angelo, could... who's the um, the a hockey guy? Uh, there's there's Mike Missinelli. I remember him. No, nice no, he, no, he's baseball. He's big in baseball. Yeah, the yeah. hockey guy. He does like hockey, you know, for the National Hockey um, Network. Uh, and he he's uh, a guy. Keith, he, Keith Primo. Yeah, Maybe, but he's not on there no more. I don't think. I don't know if no. Keith Primo was on on the team at WIP. He. he the same Primo played for the Flyers, right? That same guy? No, Keith Primo played for the Flyers. That's not the guy I'm thinking of anyway. Uh, oh, okay. But mm. that, that guy, he's like a regular guy. He doesn't want to get into the mix. Now everybody, like Al, Al's like, you know, putting people down. Rhea has always been a rather tough woman, but I may, may say so myself. <laughs> I don't know if she's good in bed or what. And she, I think I just see her being grouchy, a grouchy lover. You know, you're you're stepping on my fucking shoes, you asshole. But I love her. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> We're talking about the Philly sports fan. And I, I, told, I said, they could win the, the Super Bowl and they'd be bitching. Yeah, but next year they're going to take it. They deplete the, the, the roster, you know. It's so true. Enjoy one moment. That's all. The thing that's always funny to me is as soon as as soon all right, so as soon as they know the Eagles are out of the playoffs, it's immediately baseball season. It doesn't matter when that period is. If yeah, the right. Eagles, you know, and then same thing. I mean, really, it's like midsummer. People start talking about the Eagles again. It's almost all year round. It's yeah, it's the number one sport in Philly for sure. Yeah, yep. I I, I don't sweat it as much as I used to. <laughs> I I used to be that guy, the next day in the barber shop crying like my paycheck had something to do with it my cousin middle middle lenny we got little little lenny big lenny medium lenny <laughs> they, he's not allowed to watch the game with any he got two daughters and that's, you, you gotta like shove the food under the door he had he's laying on all these pillows and all he does is fucking punch the fill- pillows for the whole two two hours three hours you can't he- you can't say anything to him is he a betting man that. that sounds like the spirit of a betting man i don't think he has anything to bet with I mean, no i i <laughs> I, I think, Brian, j- j- were you ever into a movie and your girlfriend walk walks in and tries to talk to you and, yeah. you, igno- and you ignore her and it turns into this big fight? I, that's, I, I, that's how Philadelphia sports fans, when the game's on, the world I, shuts down. It's like, I, 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 I understand it. I've just never I've never been that guy. So it's hard for me to really, really get it. You know, I just. Yeah. 
They just never sports never did the, did that much for me, you know. When I first went up to New York, people was you know they don't give it they don't fucking give a fuck about you. It's like I'm not. This was in the like early eighties. Yeah, it's like uh, I wonder how Don Marrera's doing. Like they're in the locker room going, well, yeah, he's a good good comedian. I hope he makes it. <laughs> Julia Serving <laughs> saying that. They don't give a shit about us. Yes, same thing with uh, you know, people are always watching like the Entertainment Tonight and like that kind of stuff. Or we were talking about it with the Queen a few episodes ago. It's just you know they don't. Yeah, the obsession with the these people that you don't, they're not your friend. They would they would walk right by you in regular life. Oh yeah, right by you. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely by you, Steve. Well, not not by Dom. You know, Dom knows Barkley. Dom knows all the. The players and Philly, you know, it's it's a different type of uh, connection there. Oh, it's, a, it's kind of t- talent. It's called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, uh, Dom. I'm taking <laughs> notes. So I'm going to get these things done, pl- uh, plastic surgeon. So yeah, you brought that up. You brought that up last episode. When's the date, man? I don't know. Tomorrow I got to go in. Yeah. I hate that shit. They tell you not to eat for 12 hours. That'll make me sicker, not eating. <laughs> uh, no uh, no water. What is it? No, I'm going to feel sicker when I get out of this fucking place. <laughs> Something about Italian guys when we have to, like, go on a diet or fast. It's, 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 it's like, impossible. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, real, I'm realizing that. Like, I'm trying to, you know, I got a baby girl at home now, seven months old. I want, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. I want to have energy because... I don't want to get fat and not be able to keep up well, with her. Why are you saying that? Looking at me. What's that? Why are you like a dead stare? You, you got into when you got into that material. No, 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 no. I'm just Find saying it very effective. No, in, no, Dom Herrera. That was not. I'm making. I'm just saying Italian guys in general, mid thirties into their fit. I know you're not talking that. about me, bro. I don't. I don't eat like that. You gotta well, be you, talking. You gotta be talking to Dom if you're not talking. Well, you, you, you need <laughs> good. To you gotta you be need, talking to somebody here. You, <laughs> you need good genes to dodge that bullet. You need good genes. All the men in my family, they're they're enormous, or they're in the gym every day. They're not going to stop eating the way we now, do. You work out? Me? Yeah. No. I no, don't. Never. I, 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 I mean, I don't. Come on, Tom, I'm not that husky. It's. A, I'm trying. I'm putting an you effort. Blamed in. On, you blame it on. blame it on the baby. That you have a baby, so you gain weight. The baby, the marriage. That's that's my uh, comeback. Anytime somebody says, "Oh, you," I, I hate the when che- they the, che- the cheese steaks, the pizza, the pasta, no, the well, meatballs well, had nothing to do with any of it. You, you know, you, Dom. You know what's tough with with stand up and and doing shows at night. You're out. You have a couple drinks. Before you know it, it's midnight, one in the morning. You're you're hungry. I don't know how you get up and do do work. Were you work at a casino? Yeah. How do you get up and do that after? That's amazing. You drive down the shore and all that. I did. I did three shows last night, and then I was at the casino eight thirty a.m. My day job, and then after the podcast, right now I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do two spots tonight. That's oh, you are. I didn't know you had spots tonight. Yeah, yeah show in Philly. Yeah, oh, nice two spots tonight. I'm. I'm, I'm out of my mind. So I heard the, somebody ask you about me coming to Philly, and you turned them down. No, what the? That's a, that's a rumor has it on the streets that you, you're like booking me now. <laughs> Get the Is that fuck true? Out. No. Where? Well, there's people talk, you know. No. Get the fuck out of here. When? Who's the guy that the books? Um, uh, what's the Philadelphia Club? Hi, uh, Helium? Helium. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Remember, I was I... told by certain. The Brian, tell me if you heard this at all. You know, because it's going about around town, all over. People that are very interested in what's in this happening. <laughs> that, uh, you said Dom doesn't work for that kind of money, and if he did, he wouldn't work for you. No yeah, fucking it, way. Yeah, we said it, no. it, needs, it needs to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. No way. A club? Are you kidding me? No. Dom, or, Dom, if you remember last week, I asked you if you wanted to, if you were coming home for the holidays, because there was potential. Yeah, but who made do- you the middleman? That's what I don't understand. How did you get involved in my my career? <laughs> I mean, man, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just it looks it looks very funny on my resume. All right, well, hey. I'm gonna I'm gonna know my place now. They gotta Thanks. go directly to you. I know nothing. I don't speak to you. This is a 
one hour a week we're on a zoom call that's it that's where it stops you have my word dom how's it going what's up that's that's a pressure thing what people do like i learned in la i never say what are you up to i say it's good to see you because what are you doing you know now you gotta sit down and listen to their what's what they're, they're going to do and it's like it's so fucking boring you know, oh, they, 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 they feel really... bad for them because they got nothing going they right. got a lot of <laughs> irons in the fire you know sal from uh i'm practical i'm practical jokers yeah sal yeah. i think his last Volca- uh, volcano. volcano yeah, yeah volcano he came to this before they were we were we've been friends a long time before he, they came to new york or to la officially i said hey he calls me up we just want to get together he goes I'm, i got nothing i got nothing going i said never say that he said what do you say he asked me if i'm coming coming to la yeah you coming to la what are you doing i can't i can't talk about it i got a lot of irons in the fire you know that's what you say you don't say i got nothing going he says i might go to disneyland <laughs> he didn't say that you know what you say is I might have a thing going with Disney. And that, that's huh. how you play this game. You never tell them that you got nothing. Show business and right. show business in general. Well, yeah, any, any place I mean, to get yeah, in, in a party. Yeah. And what, what's your okay? It's more perception, right, Dom? Is that what that point you're yeah, trying yeah. to make? Yeah. All right. I gotta. I gotta. I'm taking All notes right. right now. I appreciate this. Well, you also you got to be good on stage. There's, there's, <laughs> there's a, the uh, what's that jewel or whatever. That's the, 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 the I can't wait to think of a good word. That's the bullshit of, of the show business. That's what I could say. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Play it, play in the game, man. Yeah. Play in the game. I love that, Dom Herrera. What do you What do you think about the? Uh, did you watch Monday Night Football this week, Dom? Oh yeah. Did you see the dude? That charged the field and the player tackled him. No, I heard about it, but I didn't see that one. <laughs> you didn't catch that. Was, it, was that before the game? I I think it was during it. Brian, can uh, you bring, can you bring yeah, that up, Brian? Yeah, I can. I can. I can bring it. I can bring it up. People are running on stage, hitting comedians, and now yeah. they got the balls to run on the field while players are. On. It's fucking crazy. There's so many comedians you wanted to see hit, not those two guys. They're like two of the best comedians in the world. Uh, Steve, we have our guest here also. What's that? We have our guest in the room also. Oh, ironically, Dom Herrera from uh, WIP Radio. We have uh, a comic from Philly. Mr. Joe Conklin is our guest tonight. Joe Conklin. I love that guy. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe's logging in right now. Don't Joe. Have to Joe, how are you? We're having some connection issues. No, yeah, he's just he's just locking in. Just give him a second. He'll, he'll oh, all right. He'll, all right. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll be he'll be here. I'm just uh just just trying to trying to get him on. But what what the oh here we go. Here oh, we go. Joe, how oh, are Joe. you? He's uh yeah. he's he's getting connected to the audio. Should uh okay. should be here in a second. Uh... Joe, we don't hear you. I like I like it like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't breathe. Well, he is talking. Yeah, he is. He is. He is talking. He's saying bet something. You, bet yeah. you all original funny stuff too. <laughs> Dom, you're on a roll tonight. You're really roasting. Jesus Christ! Up. No. What the fuck. Yeah, now Joe, we don't. We don't have you. No, we don't hear you. Man, oh man! Oh, he's picking the computer up. He looks like he's going to spike it on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's the difference. <laughs> See how much clearer we are. <laughs> they help. Oh, uh, now he's not even on the screen. What's going on? I think he unplugged it. I was. Uh, thanks for doing the show, Joe. We appreciate it. What is it? See, the whole thing's a surprise. <laughs> 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 Even if it's gonna, even if it's gonna work. Yo, Joe, uh, pick up the pace. <laughs> Does he? Do you hear me? Yeah, I think he can hear us. Call me a little pussy or something. <laughs> uh, we were over at uh, Pat's and no, uh, what's the one that didn't? Two brothers or something? The Italian cheesecake, cheesesteak place. Two brothers that own cheese. I don't know if it's two brothers, but Phillips Steaks. 
The, the biggest um, one we have. Pat's and Gino's. Yeah, right? No, yeah, no, yeah. not the no. The one near the airport. Uh, oh, Tony Luke's, right? Tony. No, no. I got you, Joe. Hey, hey. My man. My I'm man. stolen for time, Joe. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boys? How are you? Joe, Joe I, I was shocked that you couldn't get the sound on, man. You do, you do, vir you did virtual shows during COVID, right? Yeah, but I haven't done it since the COVID. I, I'm pop up over here. I'm older than Dom, for Christ's sake. Nobody's Almost. Older than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. And I, rem I, I, I remembered that we're eligible for a, a cocktail. Remember the cocktail parties? Everybody's got a beer in the house. What's the the place we go to after um, the, the the Wednesday night show? Usually, Chickies? Uh, Chickie and Pete's on Thanksgiving. Chickie and Pete's, yeah. One night, Joe, like he hit me with like a karate chop in the middle of my spine. Right, it started that started a lot of my back trouble. <laughs> uh, but he, you know, he's all drunk and he goes, Joe, Joe, not for nothing, but who would like that when you when you jab me within the fucking vertebra? I got, like, uh, that's such a Philly thing, punching each I, other I, when they're drinking. I love drinking. the guy. I love the guy, but he gets a little too happy. <laughs> that is hands. such a Philly thing, if I ever heard it. I had a guy doing that to me one time. He's like behind me, choking me. I go, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, who's has somebody ever come up to you and ask you to do me a favor? Will you choke me a little?" Uh, you what know who does that? that? Uh, Gargano. He's the worst with that. Yeah, that comes from you know walking up the corner, getting punched in the arm. Remember that as a kid. Yep. Yeah. It, you, you uh Tom, you, you had old head, right? You weren't always the boss. You had people punching you. No. Well, I can't do the, the man of the impressions that you do, but I can take a punch. <laughs> <laughs> How you been, man? I haven't seen you. I know, I haven't seen you either. What you know, there's some I'm with Ange one day a week. Yeah, he's doing his farewell tour. You you've been on, right? Yeah, yeah. I I don't know when to say goodbye to these guys because you know what's going to happen. The Eagles are going to go all the way to the Super Bowl, so he's going to stay on. That's that's correct. And he'll leave where there's nothing to cheer about. Then he'll leave. He'll have a big, they'll have a big thing over him. I oh, love he, the guy he, though. He he already announced this is his last year. Yeah, yeah he did been... at the beginning of the year, but everybody's been quitting in front of him. Mm. Just running out of steam. <laughs> Ray Dinger, Jim Gardner. Really? Where are they going? Tyrantville, man, where we should all be. We're, this is we're at the home, up at, up in the home. <laughs> they put you in the home already. <laughs> I'm, I'm close, man. Pretty soon. That's amazing. You've made such a good living in in one city. That's incredible. I, I was just thinking about that right beforehand. I remember talking to you about it. I remember the, I remember the conversation when I said, you know, you're happy here? Yeah. You asked me about going to L.A. I said, why would you go to L.A. when you already made it here? Well, you know? it was like good versus wonderful or good versus great. And he, he asked me how much I was making. I told you, he says, you stay right here, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, why why go out there and struggle? You, you know, All that competition. Fuck that. <laughs> they, no, seriously, they think you know, you're like a big talent. Not that you aren't. But you, you know, you're kind of not that big. <laughs> I don't know how else to put. I don't know how to put this in a good way. But we're glad to have you here. <laughs> don't fucking move. You stay here. <laughs> uh, when, when, when did that discussion take place? Nineties. Uh, I was trying to figure out. Was it late nineties or or, or two thousand? When did you start coming on Angela? Do you remember the date, uh, Dom? I don't. But my mother was with us, so I must have really been young. I remember complaining that you got away with a lot more than I did because uh, I worked there. And I said, I can't say that. I remember I remember the line you used, too. It was uh, you stopped in there. I mean, within about 30 seconds, something about Angelo says something about the movies. And you said, oh, Anal Invaders 4. <laughs> really? <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like I had that was like a knock. Right. I was a haymaker. <laughs> I don't think we could say the word anal on the radio at that point. Yeah, they, Angelo, I said something he didn't like. He goes, we don't say that around here. I go, well, apparently you do, because I just did. <laughs> but we had one, one laugh. Uh, there's chunky soups. 
yeah. sirloin steak is lately, and he says, "Oh, you know, Donovan McNabb was doing the commercial." Yes. Yep. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. I'm sure Donovan McNabb and a bunch of these billion-dollar players are having chunky soup <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> Well, he was he had a, they had a team mom. Miss Wilma was, was the team mom. That was the thing. She was in the spots too. <laughs> Harry Kane was doing them still. John K. Campbell Soups presents. Great Harry Cow's That's right. Like good steak. That's like good steak in a can. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like dog food. First time I heard you, I thought you were Barkley. I really did. Drive up to New York. And I'm hearing Barkley, and it's some something was weird about it. He was funny. That's what it was. He was funny, <laughs> and, and maybe it's not not him, and it wasn't him. So that was the first time I thought, man, this guy's fucking good. That's nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I just say something nice, and everybody was stunned? It's exactly. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, yeah. I mean, you never had to leave your house. That's fucking great. Yeah. Uh... It, it, blessed, blessed. I always say, you know, I made all the money in the same parish, Saint Helens. Same parish. What parish you from, Joe? Saint Helens Parish in Olney, okay. Fifth and Godfrey, Cardinal Doherty High School. I'm in. Uh, I went to Newman. Okay, I had a fellow grade school, oh. Epiphany of Our Lord. Is that Whitman? You're down in Second Street. Where's Epiphany at? Uh, I grew up Thirteenth and Rittner. Oh, you're right there. I thought that was Monica's. No, right, right, you, you got to go past Broad. Then you would be at St. Oh, 13th Street. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. And Dom, Dom was a St. Nick's guy, right, Dom? St. Nick's and then, and then St. Francis de Sales. Yeah, well, is Stella Maris just down there, too? Maybe your way. Uh, you know, your yeah, visit. yeah. That's Stella, Stella, Stella Maris is over there. Yeah, they, they got a little bit more money than the Epiphany kids. Is that right? Down <laughs> on like, Nick Street? Isn't that funny? I don't know, but South Philly's changed the past couple of years. It ain't the same, you know. Vietnamese. I I feel like my neighborhood growing up, it was just Italian and Irish Catholic. Now it's it's everything. It's everything now, which is great, but it's just it ain't it ain't like it was years ago, you know. It's diverse. Yes. Are you, are you really are you really glad that's happened, or are you? Just of course, I am, Dom. Why, you, why would why would that bother me, Don Maria? Yeah, you don't live there anymore, do you, Steve? Nah. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're out. You're a Jersey guy, right? I'm in, I'm in uh, Brigantine, and uh, I'm, I'm making a uh, transition up to like the King of Prussia area as we speak. You bypass the Philly. Yep. I don't blame you this day and age. Well, I got a seven month old daughter. We haven't seen each other in a oh, while. Oh, congratulations! Thank I you, didn't my know man. that. Thank wow. you. My man. That's why I got all chubby. I, Don was saying that in the beginning of the episode. That's that's my excuse for getting fat. You know, I say I'm married. I have a kid. He said it's only going to last so long, right, Don? How's it going, you and your wife? I'm telling you, when she would come in the dressing room, she, she didn't see, she didn't seem to like you. <laughs> and it's not my business. But no. she gave you a look like I'll kill him when he get I get home with his best. Is that true? No, I drive my wife nuts. She's uh she's the best best thing that's ever happened to me. But I drive. Okay. That is the biggest crock of shit I ever heard in my life. <laughs> Best that ever happened to you, Elena. That's I it. love you more than ever, anything. I know you're. I love you more. Than, what Tom Brady? <laughs> imagine Tom Brady. Oh yeah, what happened? They just broke up for her. Oh, new, imagine, br- imagine break, him being br- down. Imagine him being down and you're going. Come on, Tom. You, you, you'll find somebody better. I'm thinking. No, he won't. Who's going to find it's better? She's richer than he is. She's better looking than him. She's got the world by the balls. That's it, Tom. You you finally went to a place you shouldn't be. <laughs> You'll never get bigger than that. How about Antonio Brown breaking balls? He tweeted a picture hugging Giselle when they won he, the Super Bowl. Oh, that's funny. He's good. S- something about wide receivers in the NFL, they they just lose their minds. Yeah, they it's, seem to be. It's, a- ne- it's never a quarterback. It's always T.O. or. Chad Ochocinco. It's never. It's not. Why ain't it ever? They're, the, they're the stars. They're the stars. He's, he's my quarterback. He's my quarterback, oh. man. You heard it, him. <laughs> you roasted. <laughs> hey, Joe, did you roast T.O.? Did you do? We a did. Roast? We did. That was the first roast. He uh, he was on his phone the whole time. He was a dis- what? what participant. He, he was on his phone at his own roast. Really? Yeah, he was. He was a. He was a bit of a dick. 
Yeah. I mean, well, I, I don't mind a guy. I think there's, you know, he's got his, he's got some psychological issues, obviously. But mm-hmm. hey, it was fun. We sold tickets. He was there. It was T.O. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the guy, uh, yeah, he, he, he did a couple interviews, but he just sat there. He didn't do much. We didn't it's know what really, we were. It's not really funny. No. I mean, like, Bar- Bud did Barkley's roast here, maybe still with the Sixers. And he was funny. You know, it's a big difference. And T.O. is just a fucking great athlete. Right. Correct. Yeah. But they never said oh, one clever you, thing. Would you call him the best receiver the Eagles ever had? Mm. I don't know. Uh, I, I'd have to go with Quick him. was good. Yeah, he's yeah, probably I the best. Quick. I got Quick. I always love Quick, but I think T.O., just the specimen of him. Like and the speed, it was a monster. I remember I was at the game where he they did the horse collar. Like it was against Dallas, wasn't it? When he got he, hurt, yeah. When he hurt his foot, and then he came back for the Super Bowl yeah, against yeah. the Patriots, yeah. and yeah. he he played out of his mind. Oh yeah, he had a great game. Yeah. He played when when they, allegedly not. McNabb threw up in the huddle. No one knows. How well, he also didn't is. play well. Threw fucked a couple picks, and yeah. you know. <laughs> I lo- I love how Dom says all the he he says all the time how uh, McNabb was so good that's why they traded him in his own division. <laughs> well, wh- who's the other guy there? By the way, is that the producer? Brian. Yep. Brian, how you doing, yeah. Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Brian. How yes. you doing? I, mi- I missed the intro. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's all yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So you laughed at the McNabb stuff? Is that what you? No, McNabb no, no. Game? It was just, it was just it was really funny how we were talking about all the great Eagle stuff, and then we got to the bad part, and everyone was just kind of like, uh, yeah, well, you know." <laughs> What's with the Mets with hat? Yeah, so I I actually have a really unique uh, upbringing. So my my father's from New York City, is a, a Mets and a Giants fan, but I was raised in, in South Jersey, in the heart of you know all Philly and Eagles fans. Acco. Oh yeah, yeah, I, in Cam- I had Camden an County. Post office for a while. I never made it to the drags, but I lived there for you know ten years or so. Oh, you lived in Echo? I had an Echo, Marlton Lakes. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yep. Oh, uh, Hopewell Road. Yeah, yep, 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 yeah. I lived off the White Horse Pike near the Echo Lake. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. But Bar- Bar- Bartram. Uh, Bartram. not no, not Bartram, but down that way. Yeah, I graduated so you from Bartram. Kid, um, yeah, the neighborhoods. <laughs> I graduated from Bartram, you know. Oh, you got thrown? You, you didn't go to West? Three years, and then I uh, took my graduate uh, Bartram. <laughs> that was a tough school, man. They had r- race riots. I was the only one that could get through because I was Italian and I played a little basketball. <laughs> but the, I was funny, I guess. But there was, there was really a lot of fights, a lot of wars. Yeah, that was a tough era. That was the late 60s, too. That was uh, race riots is right. That was a, a big school, wasn't it? Really big, like 3,500. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a big building. I only high was real big, too. 3,500? That's crazy. That's crazy. You yeah, don't, you don't, large buildings, man. You don't see high schools like that anymore in Philly. Not in Philly. No. no what about yeah. your, Joe, Joe, your neighborhood, was there a lot of fist fights? Well, it was the same thing, but only High versus Doherty, just like the Bartram. You know, we had race riots out there, but they were, they were like early seventies. I went, uh, I went to school in the late seventies. We talking about fights and stuff. Yeah, we fought the neighborhoods, the other. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, Dom saying you break balls, you punch him in the back when he comes home. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. By the way, I, I didn't get to Gargano. Do you know Anthony Gargano? Dom knows him. He works for the other state. He used to work yeah. for us. I think. Yep. Big hulky guy. He does not. As soon as he sees it's hugs, it's it's headlocks, oh, it's yeah, hookies, yeah. it's punches. He's just wailing on. Boom! He'll just start wailing on. You. He's an adult hitting another adult man. <laughs> See now, big... I I would think once in a while that don't that don't go well. <laughs> well, you wouldn't do it to him. He could probably say, "Yo, Bo, oh, he's up there, Bo." You know. <laughs> Not tonight, Bo. Do you do do you do Angelo? Of course I do. I've been doing them for a long time. That's not great. so much longer though. Angelo Pitali. He's, he's nice. been making a million dollars a year for twenty years now. He think he's doing all right. Oh yeah. Of course. Dom Herrera putting out stats and numbers. How much you make a year, Dom? A pretty penny. 
<laughs> you know what I miss? You know what I miss the most is the under the table. Mm. You know? It's not existed anymore. I said to this one guy, can you pay, pay me some cash? He goes, how much you need? Like, I need it. I don't know. <laughs> you ever have somebody say that when they wanted to pay you for a gig? How much do you need? Oh, I need yeah. How much I want or need is two different things. I want them, you know, two million dollars. I'm going to get like five thousand. What did? How about going into the store? What do they want for that? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What's What's the most money you ever made in one night? Talking to me? I'm not talking to these two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a couple corporate fees that were that were in a north of 10, you know, somewhere around there. That's about it. Nice. I, I, I don't get your money, Dom. You know. This was a, uh, at the bar uh, Barrage? The one the barrage. What, what's the name of the, the one that's like a lot more New Yorkers go to? In the casino? Borgata. The, the Borgata, Borgata. Yeah. It was a private party for high rollers. $47,000 I made. Now, I, don't, I don't make close to that in anything. Isn't that incredible? Uh, I forget how they they de they dealt it out, but the, they kept they kept bringing me up, and then they, it wasn't ready yet. But I I only did like six minutes. Are you shitting? Well, because it was close to New Orleans to, to the New Year. Oh, they had to get off at a certain time. That You're was up it. against the ball. Hey Tom, can I borrow ten thousand? Oh, that's gone. <laughs> you see that girlfriend I have? She's she's very needy. <laughs> why don't you do why don't you do someone go out with somebody your own age because they're dead that's why <laughs> is this thing on hello hello is hello. the sound system working in this so-called show Sounds i don't want to know where you're from so guys how'd your relationship start dom and joe how'd, how'd you guys do you guys remember connecting was it cataldi yeah. it was cataldi uh, we kind of just hit that right away that was uh Dom started coming on to the show and you know I, I remember I talking you... I remember talking to you downstairs about you were your next move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was after about a year you've been on though. Coming over Thanksgiving, breaking my balls, ruining all my bits. <laughs> you would do, do nothing but just crush me and like the my Joe. little street parade on Thanksgiving. Thank the you, Joe. Street... That makes it means a lot to me. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> my uh the good witch the good witch yeah he was doing the you fucking... shamed me out of that one i was still <laughs> doing the good witch uh in, in the late 90s let's face um, it everybody loves the good witch come out <laughs> come out <laughs> do i know how to lead him into something huh? <laughs> how about the oh, bad witch man. the good witch. the bad witch was easy yeah who killed my sister was it about Dude, we did that shit growing up. I, everybody did it. I think everybody had to have a Wizard of Oz bit. I did uh, the not, whole Wizard of Oz. Not the straight kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing uh, the Raging Bull. <laughs> Never knock me down, Ray. <laughs> then you're there. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Do it pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was a pretty good one. Uh, Dom I don't want to get too good. The G. Nice. What's your favorite impression, Joe? What's your favorite one to do? Well, right now there are several that I can't do. And uh, we're working hard. We're we're making progress, but right now they can't do them. That's a good choice, man. That's a great uh, yeah. Probably uh I love probably. your your Iverson's the best. Hands down. Well, they're all in the same low key. You go up and you start with Harry the K. Of course, the Phillies have won the wild card, whatever the hell you call it. But we're, Whitey and I are up here watching. Hard to believe, Harry. The Harry was always a great one. Uh, Harry slides in. The, <clears throat> you, you know, my, probably Jack was my favorite. You know, he. By the way, he's not doing well, right? Jack Nicholson? Yeah. yeah he I, I heard he's got dementia. That's the yeah. rumor online. That's what I heard. He can't remember, remember his lines and all. Yeah. Oh, so I, can't. I can't remember his lines either, but Jesus Christ, who's going to do it? You, Lieutenant Weinberg! <laughs> 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 you 
Well, see what I was trying to t- tell, tell you? <laughs> this is what I was trying to tell you, Steve, about it's called that talent. That's what he's doing. <laughs> watch him sometime. Oh, I watch him. You guys, I got two of my favorites right now, man. I'm he's, Dom Herrera and Joe Cochran. This is uh, Joe. What, what was the what was the first impression you did? Did you start when you were like really really young to do yeah, impressions? Like- Little kid, you know, of Howard Cosell, Monday Night Football. I was yeah. about five or six. I used to do my uncles. But it was Howard Cosell, Monday Night Football here on ABC. You know, friend, of course, then I steal the uh, Billy Crystal. Right there. Right there. That's what impressionists do. We steal other people's shit sometimes. Actually, not stuff, but you can, you can cop a voice a little bit. Do you, uh, do, do you like practice when like, I mean, I'm sure you practice, but do you practice like as you're doing everyday stuff? Like, uh, like, I, like, so I, no, is it just kind of just got the going ear. Got the ear for it? Is that what it is? Or the ear? Yeah, I guess. It's a gift. Yeah. No, it's a gift that kind of talent really. Joe, you yeah. ever in a, you ever in a bar somewhere in, in like Philly or South Philly and somebody tries to give you their phone and say, Hey, c- c- call my dad, do this, do this. Oh yeah, all the time. You got to give him a price, right? Yeah, give me two hundred. I'll do it. <laughs> nah, I do it. I want to get that a, moment over with. Yeah, as a, as a courtesy, man. You do it all the time. Oh, that's really? Cool. You'll do a that's favor? Cool. Yeah, that's classy. Sure, why not? I mean, what are you gonna charge him thirty five dollars? Are you the guy? Yeah. Are you the guy, aren't you? Helen, that's the guy. Do one of your things for me, will you, kid? <laughs> I had a guy ask me to say "bada boom, bada bing" for him. <laughs> I said, look, I just got up a 3,000 flight. What the fuck? He goes, please. I said, what? All right. Bada boom, bada bing. <laughs> See, that's See, it's great. over. It's like, it's like the 20 bucks from the Bronx tale. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, no. like, I can get how you feel like like a circus monkey, like people coming up to you to like say that say that kind of shit. It's got to get annoying. No? I like when people tell you your own joke and you're supposed to laugh at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wrote that. Yeah. Here's you going like this. What am I supposed to do? Oh God, I fucking believe, can't believe you. You are the guy, right? Maybe we should be so lucky. We should be so lucky. Come on. I was. I got booked for this commercial. It was a wild spot. It's all over the country. It was really good money. A long, long time ago, it was for Tony's Pizza, and mm-hmm. some people were complaining from the Phoenix Italian Society. That I was mocking Italians, right? Oh yeah. So they they pulled the thing and then find out that the guy was a nut. And he just did it. He, there was no society. Just him. He just wanted to. He gets on the phone. Dominic, how can you make fun of our people? I said, I'm having fun with it. They're laughing for this. Hopefully, not, I'm not. I'm not really against Italians. I'm Italian, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dom, Dom, I've never heard so, anybody so, so was Italian it, offended by you. That's pretty was, crazy. It was a Let's pizza commercial. Here. Is that what it was? It was a, it was a pizza, pizza commercial. commercial. That you did? I'm going. Forget about it. You know, it's like it's supposed to be funny. I'm not, I don't mean it for like real. What? You you mentioned yeah, of uh, course. Saint, you mentioned Saint Nick's. Is that Tolentine over 10th Street there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they had their festival. The Italian festival was Sunday. It got rained out. Makeup date is this Sunday. I got to go over. If you're out there, listen. And you're dying. Come on over. I gotta do a thir- I, I gotta do thirty minutes along with the city rhythm orchestra and outside. Lab it's there. It's outside. Yeah, it's in the courtyard there. I don't know schoolyard, whatever. I was nice. told never never do stand up if you can see the sky. Uh, they're the hardest. They're the hardest gigs of all. You didn't do any outside gigs during COVID, Dom. Yeah, one one in L.A. I forget what it was called, but it looked like the, it was. The, it looked like it was. It was just a stable room. You had to really look look hard to see the top. You know. Yeah, like you turn down any fee if it was outside. <laughs> I only work in the not any fee, but anything. I'm not going to get a worthwhile gig with a little circus tent. The, yeah. Well, there's apparently there's uh there's a room in Philly right now outside. I was telling you about it before, Dom. There's a comedy dome right now. Yeah, so, they, they did this during the. It's said uh, Joel. Sold yeah, Joel. it's creating a lot of buzz. The, uh, I mentioned that to you, Dom. Yeah, some great comics coming down, but they did it during um, COVID, right? And he was successful. What are they doing now? Is it still outside? Well, he he uh, he moved it to Pottstown, but like it's it's becoming. He he wants to keep it because of the I, uniqueness. I, no, well, I mean, he had some really crazy droppings during COVID, like Louis C.K. passed through. 
Uh, Jim Brewer's doing it regularly now. Um, Dice is doing it. Vic DiVadetto. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's again. I mean, it's yeah, outside. but is it inside or outside? It's it's outside, but it's covered. Okay, that that was the thing. He's got he's he's keeping that outside stuff. Yeah, you That's can you bring it up, uh, Bry? The yeah, comedy I'm try, dome. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a good picture of it to bring up. So, yeah. Soul Joe's comedy dome. Yeah. Oh, forget that. Let's plug Parks Casino. Thursday, Parks Casino tomorrow night. Oh, Jesus I thought Christ. Jay Black is tomorrow night. We're up there. Uh, no, this Thursday. Mike no, Baldini, the no, opening act. No, no yeah. pressure, Brian. You got to turn around time on this episode. It needs to drop tomorrow morning. <laughs> well, uh, I'm just saying, if we're gonna start plugging stuff, my oh, absolutely. Plug I love your room at Parks. There we, we go. go. We got the There tickets. we go, Brian. There you go. Beautiful. Parks Casino. Love that room. In Edwards. Good. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it up uh, in, in the show. Joe, Joe, you doing uh, Parks weekly or is it bi-weekly? Every other week. Every other Thursday. How's it doing? Yeah, it's beautiful. Baldini, We're selling you don't, out. Pick, We're... you don't pick up the phone to me no more. Who, Baldini? Tell him I said hello. Come on up. Go crash him. You know? I heard on him to book me. I'm talking to two guys that never had that problem. <laughs> oh, yes, we did. I don't know about sure. you. I had, the, I had the guy Steve Young told me I wasn't ready for Philly. Oh, my God. He both, just... was... Remember him? Yeah, he just emailed me. I heard, me he, 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 I heard he wears a Philly. cape now. <laughs> he wears a cape now, right? I think he did wear a cape at some point. I I it's opened normal, I, you know. I, op I opened for Steve Young in August at Andy Scarpati's room. Okay. So he the is big, he is big working. teeth. There was a big there was big teeth on stage with you, right? What it was his uh, logo oh, as a prop? Oh yeah 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 you're right. <laughs> what you're like right. on the back behind you? He was the, because... um, <laughs> uh, he was the um, uh, part of the triumvirate. Yeah, downtown of Philly comedy, and Don knows that whole stuff. I can't believe Steve Young said that to you. That's pretty wild. Told you to, uh, you're not yeah, quite good enough for the world. Up here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what was the question before that? Who the hell knows? Oh, how how Parks Casino's doing? How often you're doing it? Thank <laughs> you. You're the best. I want you to plot. Come uh, on, Joe. Uh, we well, appreciate you having you on, Joe. We've been uh, we've been sold out every uh, every. Uh, since you know, since we came back from COVID, yeah, I guess every other week does that, you know. What what location? The last time I did it, it was in the uh, restaurant. It, you moved it. It's in the three sixty. It's back in three sixty. Yeah, you'll love this, Tom. It's it's uh, we're behind a bar now. We didn't used to. We used to be out front of the bar. Mm -hmm. Now we're back behind the bar where the band plays. It's very difficult. You ever do a club like that? Tom, Tom? that's, pretty, that's Tom. my final answer. No, <laughs> I don't think so. It's a good money. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great money. You know that place? They we went. We we worked um, live. You know that one? Oh yeah, yeah. surely really live. Yeah. Steve and I worked that, and I I felt that I mean, they could do better as far as they had fold out chairs. You know how hard it is. To Where sit they put you? Oh, that's a big room though, Dom. I've been up there for a concert. Yeah, it was a thousand people. Yeah, that's a big. It was, room. it was a hard gig. That's a multi-purpose room. Yeah, but I don't like I don't like people sitting on those kind of chairs for that's too long. Uh, Dom shitting on a gig. It was the highlight of my career. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shitting on. I'm I've, just saying. I've, 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 I've my thousand, advice. A thousand people in South Philly opening for Dom. That was like, still. still no, I appreciate thank you that. a million I'm, times, Dom Herrera. Anytime, you know, it's like if, if it works out, I, it's much fun for me. You and Eleanor, remember we had that gig at, at Helium? That Helium, was the whole weekend. Thanksgiving, oh, 2018, that was a blast. Oh, yeah, that's a good show, man. And then I opened for you at the room in Tropicana. That's a big space, too, right after COVID. Oh, yeah, that's 2000. Mm hmm It's a beautiful room. That looks like a comedy club. Is Tony Rodeo still down there? Tony Rodeo. Is that the guy's it? name? It's a... Oh, Tony Radio, that's a, a piece of producer. He's uh, John. Um... John, John's his brother. Right, right. Yeah, hmm. he's, 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 he's done a lot of incredible stuff. He's a little wacky, thin guy. I don't know. What, who's his, his nephew? Is somebody from uh, one of the big, the big uh, music thing. 
Bon Jovi. Oh. oh. Hmm. Joe, do you, Joe, do you play a- AC at all? Or you? No, it's kind of off limits with Parks. I got a contract with them, so. Gotcha. gotcha. Oh yeah, okay. I, I see. I seen on uh, Vinny V uh, Vince Valentine's page. You're doing some theater. Some no, we're coming. doing the orchestra shows. We're doing theaters, yeah. Wow. Tom, I don't know if I told you this. I'm working with an orchestra. I'm doing musical. That's great. You got a voice, Joe? Let's hear it. Oh, all the time. The most rewarding flavor in this man's world for Rock people out, who are... <laughs> Rock it out, baby. But it's all in a different We're way. doing a shape for jingle. <laughs> we, just, we just added this song. The Schaefer Jingle with an orchestra. Schaefer is great. What, one beer to have? Correct. Is that the one, really? One. Schaefer is the one beer to have when you're having more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, last time I seen you. you was told... that a good plug for the orchestra? Incredible. I thought it was fantastic. What, what, what was the show you did with Eleanor? You guys roasted the, uh, I think, it, the governor? You said she. Oh, you said God. you said Eleanor Kerrigan killed. He bailed me out that night. It was outstanding. We had uh, so we strong. Were, she's she's amazing. She's she's one of the best. Honestly, stand up. She's, oh, she'll go anywhere. She, well, she opened with dice, and if you, if you can open with dice, you got to be tough. She owns that room yeah. as soon as she steps on stage. She's brilliant. she starts she's doing that stuff, stripper but... move and all that very funny shit. Oh, she um. It was Cataldi, I think it was Cataldi and Eskin night. And Baldini was the one who suggested it last minute. So why don't you tell Eleanor to come down there? And we probably did need a slot or two uh, for, for, uh, so anyway, she just got in there and crushed it. She went after the mayor for some reason, you know, Brent Dell. <laughs> he's sitting there and he got, he was like blindsided. I, we, I was touching him a little, but we weren't really killing him. Eleanor comes over and fucking destroys him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he 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 doesn't get upset much, but he was a little pissed that night. Uh, but yeah, she's great. Yeah, she 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 came down to the roast, and then we started working together all the time. You know, uh, her mother is so fucking funny. Her mother had ten kids. Yeah, that's a lot. That's wild. That's so crazy. Ten kids for you know like that takes at least. Ten mom's ten still years. coming out with her too. She looks great. Jeez. Yeah, she's great. Wasn't, great that, wasn't that normal back in the day? Five, ten. It ain't like, like today. I mean, but Eleanor, has... Eleanor's not like she's not she's not old old, you know. Like, I mean, she's like that's something that people did like way back in the day, you know. Ten kids. Ah. Yeah, man. Like ten kids is like early nineteen hundreds, man. People are not having ten kids anymore. Like even in the sixties, that was like kind of. Uh, that's a good a good point. I'm one of seven. In our neighborhood, we had at least three families with 10, maybe two with 13. It's because it's Catholic. Uh, That's why. Correct. <laughs> Ever work <laughs> Ireland, Joe? I have not. I was on stage there once. I got up and uh, I got up and sang Elvis Costello at the King's Head with this cover <laughs> band. Yeah, in Galway. That was that was my uh, Ireland experience. But no, I know, I know you you love you work over there a lot, right? Twenty five years. That's amazing. Um, I've seen kids grow up there. It's it's really nice. I go back, I feel like I'm at home. That's amazing. Bunch of Irish drunks, just like my house. <laughs> you guinea bastard. Hell watch on. it. Watch it. <laughs> hey, uh, get, get through the routine. Where, <laughs> oh, no, no, the girl with the mouth water. <laughs> What's that? Oh, the, the, the mouth water. I don't want to give it away. It's a punchline. The, the girls you're talking with se- sexually with the Irish girls. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was. I got that from a, a, a real night. This girl was fucking gorgeous. She had this radiant. And there were the, the, the sea hags. What do they call them? Sea skies. Ski, I think sea hags. Yeah, that's a good one. Sea hags. And something. Yeah. But they, this girl comes up. She goes, Dom, I'm not a sea sk- ski skank. That's what it was. Sea skank. I said, You? No. I'm thinking, you, You're the guy. you exactly who I was thinking of when I, when I wrote the bit. <laughs> Put on the, the bro, For fuck's sake. <laughs> well, you know, they, 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 they don't push it like we do. Like in, in, in America, it'd be like, what you, what you, what you can't throw a picture? And, and, and they really talk like, hey, I'm new. I have a beer. Da, da, da. It's like subtle, you know? It's not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you used to talk about that Lionel, Lionel Barrymore, or what's his name? 
not Barrymore. Um, what's the guy that the, the, the movie star that does it? The old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old man. John Fitzpatrick. Fucking uh, shit, I forget. Anyway, he would do the brogue. He was in all the movies of The Quiet Man and this and that. And uh, you had a great line about the girl. How about a nice mouth watering blow? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get it out of you, dude. <laughs> you were just talking about people saying your bits back to you, Dom. Yeah, uh, there you go. Com you uh, comics do it all the time. Man. Yeah, I was just working with Norm Clark. You, you know Norm. If you work with Norm, Dom. Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, man. He's... He, He's, he's good. I heard he's he got a really good stand-up now. Yeah, he, he does this this goofy magic stuff. It's all evergreen, you know. It never changes. He's ripping these two rings of that. <laughs> I'm so sick of this shit. Throws it. Fort coming. That was coming from Family a Factory Island. What was that called? Yeah, yeah. He was an outlet guy. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen fifty. <laughs> all those guys and Barney ends up making the most money. Well, yeah, he put his dues in for sure. He got with his sons with the uh, the nightclub business. Yeah, we're just talking about him the other day. Hmm. Hey, Joe, all all these guys that you like imitate from like local sports. Did anybody ever get confrontational with you? Like, get offended? Did that ever uh, happen? Did that ever times. happen? Yeah, uh, the good good witch. For, good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Come out, come out. <laughs> the good witch came up to me at a banquet one night. True story. And stop me if you heard this. Give me, give me. <laughs> one talk to you. Uh, Dick Vermeil said to me once, uh, I introduced myself. It was. I said, hey, uh, coach, I'm Joe Conklin. I'm the guy that's been doing you on the radio. I know who you are. Yeah, You got that freaking part down pretty good too, don't you? <laughs> And I got flagged from the Maxwell banquet for some reason. I, I ain't been back there. Ricky Waters was after me for a little while. He was looking for me. Really? <laughs> Dang, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. Uh, that was he was a party. Allen Iverson was a sport, never got offended. Like oh, um, the craziest thing, man. I, I didn't start <laughs> doing him till like after he was gone. For some odd reason, <laughs> I couldn't get my voice that low. He's right there with Tone Loke. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> he and Tone Loke have the same voice. <laughs> are you are great. you into are you into music also? No, he does uh, a great he does a great Obama, Brian. It's not oh music. Oh my god, Obama. Motel. Uh, am I into music? I do some singers. Like I said, we're doing that music show now. We're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if you had a good like musical ear also. If that. Yeah, I, I imitate singers, basically. That's yeah. all I know about music. You know. Okay. Dom will be happy to hear that I introduced the, the, the Bee Gees into my act. Another oh. cutting right on the pulse, Dom. On the pulse. Bad, bad, bad. Let me after hear it, I, After I saw the the big special last summer, two that summers was great. ago. It was outstanding. And, uh, you know, I thought the Beach Chiefs would be, mend a broken heart would be great for the Philly sports fans. They always break our hearts. You know? <laughs> I can think of younger days when watching Philly sports. But everything I can but And all I ever felt was pain. The sorrow. And here's the best part. What's the next line, Don? How can you mend a broken <laughs> no, heart? Right before that, they go, all I ever felt was pain and sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> How can you? Whatever. So we got about 20 of those songs, and it's fun. I'm, I'm, my brother's in the band. My daughter, She's she's not with us this round because she's pregnant. She's gonna have a baby in a couple of weeks. Oh, congrats. congratulations! Uh, congrats. Thank you nice. very much, Joe. And, uh, uh, where where can they get tickets? Yeah, your you website? A, I'm pop up. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> where, where can everybody get tickets? Your website? Yes, JoeConklin.com. Swarthmore Players Club of Swarthmore and the Sellersville Theater, both in November. 
12th and the 19th. You got anything to plug, Dom? <laughs> He's asking, Dom. Oh, what are you, what are you plugging? I'll uh, be at the comedy store. Whenever I want to fucking be there. Because <laughs> I kill. No, hey, I uh, you know who was... Uh, I see Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Schubert's coming there next week or something. Oh, he's a good guy. He's great. Dude, he was just at Parks. He fucking destroyed the place. First time I met him, he was taking notes down in the, the improv in New York. And they go, who is this fucking guy, right? And just how na naive he was. And he said, um, I go, listen, man, you can't take notes. He goes, oh, no, I was going to do it my act of you know, auditioning. I said, it doesn't work like that. You can't come and like, he'd be so stupid that he was right out in the, in the, the light. You could see him. Right he was the, really he, writing down other people. Yeah, yeah. He, he was. Oh uh, I mean, since then, he's a, he's a great comedian now. But <laughs> so since you imagine, then, he's fine. But day yeah. one, he was really bad. Well, I mean, how stupid could you be? Do you think everybody uh, could go in no, there? No, they don't even, it? you don't know what the, what the heck, what to do. You know, he, he's funny because he comes up, he talks like this, and I mean, he got the big bravado and stuff. But he's got heady material. Those bits are long, and they're all interconnected. He's got some heady shit. It was, uh, he had me laugh my ass off last week. He's, uh, he and his father, we were over in Ireland, and his father and his mom and his, his brothers came, all came with him. It was like the moment of the apex, apex of his rotten career. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding, but he he's terrific. People don't think of him as a Philly act, but he is, you know. Yeah, Archbishop Ryan and the uh, School of the Arts or something. He went downtown That's, for years. It's only Philly people. We just name parishes. Yeah. It's just what we do. That <laughs> mic, uh, you got a nice microphone there. It looks like you got like one of those, uh, you know, what are they, what are they called? The Yetis. The yeah. Yetis, yeah, yeah, the Yetis. Yeah, it's all it's all Brian, Joe. Brian's the mastermind right here. He is the mastermind. He's into those Instagram reels. He knows all the technology. Oh, wow. Kid. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Make this make this look good later, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> it's uh it's fun, you know. Not being a not being a comedian, it's fun to you know do stuff with comedians all the time. It's uh it's better than doing like corporate, you know, corporate work. You can change things like after the facts. Yeah, I can like that. change your joke like, around and make it funnier. Of course. Like Look, look put, at Brian trying to get the work. Come on, Joe. Can, can you can put a fucking Phillies <laughs> emblem on your Mets hat? You fucking smack ass. <laughs> smack ass. <laughs> what, what do you think about the Phillies making the playoffs, Joe? Are they going to make a run? I don't know. I, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, you got to get lucky. I don't know if they, they don't have. They got two pitchers. You know. Yeah. It's just nice to break the drought. I, I don't see. You know they 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 rallied to 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 get in here the last week they almost they almost died on right on out so i don't have a ton of confidence yeah baseball's weird you play all them games yeah it doesn't have now they have more than one but it was, it was one game right it was, and that yeah was that, it. Now they're, they're in they're, they got they clinched it and do you think the eagles are for real joe <sighs> it's four four wins you know four games dom was saying he thinks their uh their, their yeah. schedule is kind of weak I agree. Well, the league's kind of weak. That's that's what's in their favor. It's not like they're the greatest team of all time. They got a real shot because you got you got Brady who's going through marital trauma and, <laughs> and Rogers. I don't think didn't they just lose? Yeah, the Packers. Uh, and that's it. You know, there's nobody else in the league anymore, really. Yeah, they got it. They're the only they're the only undefeated team left. I think Kansas. I think Kansas City's good. I really yeah, do. Very good. Of course, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about our our like, uh, and, you know, and, and it's funny. Like, people are talking shit about Doug Peterson this Sunday. Like, I'm going on Instagram and Facebook. I'm like, he won you your only Super Bowl. How are you talking shit about this guy? Oh, that's <laughs> what, what? What are you talking shit about this guy for? How he should get a standing O every time he comes back. He did. Well, I'm saying, but you, but you go online. <laughs> and oh, he's, don't, he's, don't worry about they, that. They, they troll the shit out of him. It's yeah. so stupid. Not but uh, Joe, thank you again for doing the show. Uh, one more time, can you plug Are your? We done? Holy shit, we're done. <laughs> hey, Don, great seeing you, brother. Great seeing you too, Joe. Are we gonna do the Thanksgiving? Are you coming back? Am I gonna see you? I don't think so. <laughs> I, I got too much. I got a lot of irons in the fire. 
Come on, you son of a bitch. You always come home Thanksgiving. I stopped going to the air airport and they stopped. That fucking airport, yeah. man. Put the bag on a, on a chump. Put the bag on. Why? Why? It's, it's the worst. It's, it's really the worst. I'm fucking rude. <laughs> They're the meanest people. It has to be in their training. They're just always, always rude from top to bottom. They're vetted. It's, it's, it gets the nastiest people. <laughs> Yeah, they just make it the most unpleasant, un unpleasant experience of, of all time. All right, well, you got to come home soon, Don. Well, I'll tell Angie you said hello. Thanks. And, uh, so. All right, I'll see you guys. Steve, I I'll see you, Steve. What, you, oh. you walking around? You, you still want to get up to the parks? You, you really serious about Baldini? You wanna Joe, Joe, I'd open ball? for you anytime you want. You got my number. Call me anytime, I, buddy. I'm not seeing up there. So. Uh, anytime. <clears throat> Call me right, anytime. Brother. I'm close, buddy. Thank you again. Joe Conklin, everybody. My pleasure. Thank Thanks, you very Joe. Much. That's our show. Thank Bye. you, Joe. Yo, Dom, over here. Hey, hey Dom. Hey. Yo, Dom.